Welcome back to Plan B. My name is Nilaus and thank you very much for your support on the very first episode. I am definitely going to continue this series uh, based on the support and how about... Oh, wow, that rattling is just <laughs> incessant. Um, based on the very very uh, generous support on the first episode and the fact that I really enjoy playing this game. It says uh, the simplicity is, uh, is it's just... It gets you right in there and you start working on things and then the emerging complexity is and how do I actually make this hex thing into something that's, uh, that's going to be aesthetic and pleasing and uh, up to our standards. Now there were two kind of comments on the first episode. Uh, the first one was, oh awesome, uh, please continue. Uh, the second one was, why do you mispronounce aluminium? I don't. I am one of the, the few people who live outside of the United States, and uh, that's how um, how it's pronounced around here. So, uh, bear with me, or not, that's how I uh, I choose to pronounce it. Um, look at the periodic table, and you can see how it is pronounced there, how it is actually spelled. With that out of the way, and I hope you can uh, bear with me without my uh, non-American pronunciation. I mean, you must be, since you're still around. Okay, uh, what are we going to do today? Well, we have this amazing thing unlocked. The Depot Mark II is so much better than you think. I don't know if you think it's good, but it's really good. Uh, what we need to do is we need to get some aluminium and we need to get some uh, polymer bars. So we'll go up here to our aluminium uh, output. We have already, uh, I built this one, uh, just it's here now. And all I need to do with this one is basically uh, get some inputs some what is the input we want we want some uh, let's see we want some polymer bars that's pretty simple so if we build one of these oof, that's it's probably like way too much oops i keep forgetting here uh, what is it we want to make we want to make the depot mark ii we'll probably have other things as well and then we need the polymer bars as well we can then sort of go backwards and uh, get the polymer bars this one will be for uh, polymer bars and how do we make that we make that in a factory yes okay so this one will take 30 times 3 so that is 90 carbon okay and how do we make carbon well we make carbon first of all we need to get a depot here uh, that will be a depot for carbon and how do we produce carbon we actually produce carbon like this and let's see each of these produce 12, so that's 24. Oh, that's 60, so it's not really enough. What if I do something like... I could also... See, this is the beauty of it, right? It, it doesn't matter that you delete things in here, because you can just build it again. And there. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9... 9 times 12 is definitely more than 90, and that will get us in here. So these will just only uh, take the carbon. They will not take any of the oxygen. The oxygen will just be stuck out here, and we'll just scale it up. That will get us some Mark II. At the point when we have Mark II, we will never ever use the Mark I's again. That is uh, it's just how it is. So the Mark I's are just so inferior, and once they're building, then that is fine. So let's just take... What was this doing again? Let's make assembly plants. It's all good. It's all good. This one... Um, yeah, what are you making? You're making more factories. You're making... All right, these will probably run out at some point. And let's just take this one whole thing out here. There we go. Put it back into the inventory. This is... Oh, look at this. Uh, this is uh, ripe for for upgrading once we have the first Mark II location. Oh, like, no, we already got it. Okay, cool. So let's do some cleanup about these things. And let's just show you how much more awesome it is. So if I have the Mark II, that's going to be iron here and iron here. That means... I can now make them all of this area here. Okay, not that one. But this... Oh! Stop that. Here. This will be such a much bigger area that we can cover now. And we'll be much more able to feed this. And if you just want to continue with this sort of line of uh, thinking, then you can see how much extra we can get by just upgrading these. Uh, that one gets updated and that one gets updated which just means that these two don't really need to be there anymore and we can just get a lot more on the outside here as well one two not that one there so that's uh ah oh, man that's such a relief once we have depot mark two it everything just gets so much easier and one of these like that would also be brilliant because then we can finally take those 
that were sort of haunting us by not uh, sort of trimming the whole area. This gets a lot easier with most of the things we want, and that gets us gets us to the we now have the aluminium, the uh, assembly plants. What is it now? We need we need to look at what we need for our city. The city needs to grow. Uh, this is reach a total population of 350. We're going to be focusing on one city for for this. This has changed into refined concrete. That means the concrete we're getting in here is going to be useless. So we might as well just uh, kill that line. And instead, we are going to take this and combine it with some iron that we get over here. And uh, let's see, how do we get the iron out? Well, we kind of don't have a great location for this. Maybe we just take this area out and... Oh, man, that's kind of... Hmm, we just need some... Well, we can we can make it over here. We have some new fancy deposits here, so that should be able to get some good coverage. Let's see how much coverage. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. There. Mm. That's too far away. Yeah. There. I just kind of want to get that. Now, these are kind of, kind of balancing out. Uh, you can't sort of infinitely tile these or daisy chain them. Daisy chain them is the right word. Um, but that'll be... You, you can do something about this. Uh, let's see. What We need some factories. And those factories can also now be built a little bit further away. So if we build the factories like maybe here, steel bar and steel bar, they'll be extracting from this just fine. And they will also get from here. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. So let's call it 18. 18. Oh man. The calculation here. That's 270. And each of these consume 300. So let's get three of these. Mm. Yeah, let's make it like this. And they will now get an output here. This output will be focused on steel bars. And I can then get an output here for the steel bars. This will now need to go to... Um, let's get you a little bit down like this. And then get you straight over. Like that. Okay, so that will now be able to bring stuff in here. We'll just kind of delete this for now uh, because I'm going to go uh, with a Depot number Mark 2. Well, actually, we can use a Depot Mark 1. I wonder if there's a different in how much they can store in each. That's it. I mean, I should check. I don't know if that's the case. I think they can store the same. Yeah, it looks like they can store 40 in each. Okay, so that's not really a difference. Uh, what I want to do is here we'll make a... What is it we want? We want concrete, and we want a lot of concrete. So let's make this one upgraded and make another one upgraded here. This will be getting the steel bars in, and then we need to make a factory or one steel bar makes reinforced concrete here. And then we get a single one out that can reach all of these. And of course, this will now be, of course, this will now be reinforced concrete, which I can then get out let me see if i can get a location there how about that one that will actually reach both of those locations and i'm hurrying up and removing all of this before anyone notices how awful that looks there we go this will actually oh no 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 this is this is exactly what you can't do in this game you can't have one unload to be uh, unloading to two different ones so we'll have to do it like this that and that that's fine let's do Unloading. First, we get from here. This is an origin, so we set the destination here, and that will be transporting steel bars. How much? How many steel bars do we want? Uh, this, oh, it's. I need a lot of these. That's a long way. Thirty. That's not much. Yeah, this is consuming thirty. Wow. We are gonna need a ton of that. Huh. A ton of trucks to feed this line here. Eh. Uh, Let's get 40, 45, shit. There we go, 60. 
That's that's only feeding two of these. Okay, well, that's kind of uh, disappointing, I guess. And that will now be transporting reinforced concrete. And you, my friend, here will be... Uh, uh, first of all, you'll be replaced with a Mark II. Not that it matters. But you'll also be... Oh, uh, emptied and be reinforced with concrete. So, we will now see if it works. We are getting the concrete in here. Unfortunately, not even close to fast enough. And these can be updated and get a little bit more storage into here. This is also looking okay. What is this? This is just making the roundabout. And stuff like here and here and here. It's just nice to be able to get like a little bit more coverage on uh, on this so it doesn't stall as easily. And then it'll, it'll last longer because at some point we'll just run out. Let me see. What do we have? 800. Sh should be good. All right. They are coming in diligently but the fact that it's only 60 is just a lot <laughs> how many do we see how many trucks number of trucks 44 trucks i assigned how about this one um there we'll make there that should be enough and actually our truck production is kind of limited and this is because it's going here so i think i want to make another one that's just dedicated to making trucks because this is just not getting there that is it and um, yeah you can also see these are also running out here like that has been extended so there's a little bit of cleanup with these kind of things and yeah let's get that in here and get iron and more iron here and more iron here and then we can take these out i can also upgrade this as well and we can now get a lot further in. That's a little bit too far. There. So much more iron coming in here. Much more iron feeding into this part. And this is... There. So as long as this one is here. Look at that. That's also now stealing from this location. And we are feeding this part here. Yeah. I'll put that here. And I'll upgrade that. That. So now... We'll do that. Just also to get a little bit more uh, support flying forward and forward, backwards and forwards. I think this will be fine for now. It should get us what we want. Though I do feel that this would look better. Yeah, this looks better. It's not It's not really realistically any different, but it looks better. Cool. Let's go back to our production. Are we producing anything? Yeah, there's some trucks coming in here. This is like an absurd amount of uh, concrete here. There we go. Now we can produce 60. This comes in at 60. So we need to make sure that we also get it out by 60. This is producing 60. So 60 is kind of our benchmark. As we look at the city here, uh, it is definitely growing. It's 100% and it has a nice stacks, uh, stockpile here. Great. So uh, the city is growing. All right. What else do we need? Well, um, we do have the opportunity to make some high-tech products. And that's something we don't have yet. Let me just check out what the high track product... So now, for example, this... Sorry, I got distracted from my high track product thing. See, if I do this, we can also just make this even bigger. But it's big enough. It's uh, fast enough to just make tons and tons of these. Make 12 per cycle. Now, factory. Factory, you can make high tech parts. What does high tech part consist of? Two aluminium and one polymer. That's kind of the same as what we just built here, isn't it? Yeah, it kind of is the same. Hmm... So maybe we can just uh, kind of redo this now that we have the Mark II. That'll be a little bit easier uh, because these two can also be Mark II. Yes, and that means we can get another. That's an assembler. We can get a couple of factories in here. And if I take you out, then I could get here. That will be for polymer bars and polymer bars. Yes, and I will get two factories like this, high tech and high tech. How much do we need? This will be able to get from here, this will be able to get from here, and we need an output for the high-tech parts, because we have definitely going to need to go get them out. These two will be feeding... Oh, look at that, look at that. Buy, build a greenhouse gas factory to release SF... Uh, sulfur... Per, fluoride, for, what is it? So, it's sulfur fluoride something. He hexafluoride? Sulfur hexafluoride? Since it's six... Um, and this is greenhouse gas and then we need to make a greenhouse gas extractor which means mechanical parts and high-tech parts that we're just working on and we need to increase the temperature by one 
So we're at minus 58.1 degrees. Yeah, that kind of needs to be raised a little bit. And then we can go back and build our extractors. Now we can focus all around this location. And we can actually just also feed it out here. Oh, is that all of it? Uh, that should get us a little bit of um, build here. And that will hopefully get us into these. Hold on. Oh, shoot. I'm missing a step. I'm missing a step. Oh, no. Obviously, we're not making polymers here. Uh, we are getting polymers in. That one will be enough for these two. So, <clears throat> Polymers. No. Polymers. Polymers are made in a factory. And how much? How much do we need here? We need... Uh, that's 12 plus... 12, uh, 90, that's 60, 60. So I kind of need 30 of each and then a little bit more. So this will be our build for that. I am going to take... That's the carbon going in because these just need carbon inbound and they need a lot of carbon. And then we can do the stuff that I was trying to do before. It'll be this kind of area around here. And there's no such thing as um, as power consumption. As long as the production cost is there, we just can stamp out this. It doesn't matter. Um, it's it's going to be a massive build. So we'll build the polymers and we get out here some high-tech parts. We are continuing to work on this one, please. Yes. Uh, let's see, you are a... You're getting the polymers as well. Unfortunately, the polymers are slower to go in here because they are a little bit further away. There. Uh, they will always prioritize the first ring around. So only it would only go to this over here once the inner ones were full and they are consuming quite a lot so that's not necessarily the the case okay so this is now here what we need to make, make is uh, over here by the environmental we need mechanical parts and we need high-tech parts we got high-tech parts and mechanical parts are close to the iron so we'll get uh, what is this one exporting this one is exporting are we getting hmm. We are making mechanical parts here. We could actually steal some of these mechanical parts, couldn't we? If we make a better build for this, and we absolutely are. And uh, so let's make... Look at this. This is uh, on top of some paved area. That is not good. Look, if I build this here, get the iron in, yeah? That one, unfortunately, still has to be there. And, you know, I could just get it from a much bigger area. Just get it up there as well. And... There we go. That's a giant area now. We can, we'll eventually feed up here. Um, I'm gonna bait one more because otherwise there's only one. And we're just gonna get another build here and upgrade this. These are now making steel. This is another, a third one here. Upgrade. Uh, so this should be definitely, how much are you consuming? You should be consuming 30. So. I kind of feel that this should definitely be enough for us to sort of be stealing something out of here. Uh, this is making atmospheric extractors. I don't think we need like a hundred of these. I wish there was a way that we could sort of limit it because now it's it's getting a little bit absurd how much we're actually extracting from here or how much we're actually spending on this. But you never know, maybe I need more than hundred. And if I stop it, then eh, kind of sad. Uh, so let's get that one and get that one as well. And, oh, look at this. This this is actually kind of looks like somewhere. Oh, look at that. That's a funny uh, thing because you can't really build uh, a hex properly. So there will be some weird hexes. Like that is definitely a weird hex. So that's uh, that's that's cool, I think. All right. And I will take... No, 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 no. Do they go only into that one? Oops, not there. There. Cool. And there. This can now be extracting... Um, where do we want it? We want to get it up to that one. So we can actually just lead it on the same line, to be honest. Um, it's, it's okay. They don't... Ooh, I don't like that. I don't like that. Um, yeah, let's do it in a slightly different way. From here. How about we do... This. Or even... this uh-huh and 
maybe even get a extra line out here so it can go too. And I think, I don't know, but I think that we can kind of remove this. It'll kind of still find a way, maybe. I hope. Oops. Well, now they won't. Uh, okay, I guess I have to rebuild this line anyway. Uh, this line is still active for some reason. Uh, it just looks a bit weird. Um, yeah, I kind, of, I kind of think I want to remove it. Yes, let's remove it. So this is the origin, and then I set the destination down here. And that is transferring aluminium. And I need, I said 10 trucks. Yeah, that's probably fine. 10 trucks. 10. And the other one, this is now a origin. So we set the destination up here. And uh, that will be now transporting mechanical parts. All good. Shoot, that's not what I want. I definitely don't want to have mechanical parts being transported. I want it the other way around. And that means this part is probably going to be a little bit different. Because I'm going to grab this and make it into a factory. Here. Yeah, these two can reach. These three can reach. And they can also reach a location. Like some of this is a little bit hacked. Once we get to trains, it gets better. That will be high tech parts. And I, we need to change this recipe to... What the hell are we doing? What are we doing? Oh yeah, it's just one of these. Oh, that's super simple, right? Super simple. Um, I need to bring... I need to make a gas part. So, I just need an assembler. A single assembler. There. Parked in this lovely location. Making... Greenhouse extractor. And then I need... A, here. This one will be... Depot here. This will be for high tech parts. And that will get the high tech parts in here. So this is the destination. So set the origin here. And that will be origin of here. So this will transport to 15. I think 16 is enough. This will consume 12. Yes. All right. So we are now getting some. Uh, some greenhouse gas extract generators. Greenhouse gas generators need to work on a fluoride location. So we need to find a fluoride location. That is a fluoride location. And do we have any fluoride location that's close to some sulfur location? Yeah, they're pretty close, right? These two are definitely options. So I'll even start working on this because we might as well. Here, that will be fluoride. I wonder if I could sort of uh, build a setup that gets, gets everything in a location. Here, just so that I don't have to keep coming back to this location. I don't know if this is good enough. It obviously isn't getting the middle part, but yeah. It's something. I mean, this one is completely empty, but I don't know. We, we'll, we'll try it. And that will get something out here. Let's see if we can get it into maybe a transport line. If we want to even get a transport line for something like this. That would be a transport line going over nearby. Something like this. Um, how are we doing on this build? Is it working? Yes, it is working. And we have some... Yay, we have five already. Sweet. And how's our city growth? City growth is actually... It hit one... 1,000. Sweet. Okay, we're not getting enough oxygen. That's interesting. How much oxygen do we need? Uh, it needs 74 demand. Ooh, 74. Then that... Okay, I just got distracted. What a surprise. And then we just do this part. This is what I said earlier. There. That is a super simple build. Um, but it also just needs a lot more trucks. Let's get it up to 100. Now this can transport 100. All right, so we're not going to run out of that. Uh, we are definitely going to run out of the concrete, though. I think that when you hit 100, it... Uh, supply, what is this one? Does it say stable? It needs to be 100% before it starts growing. Now it's growing. And then it grows again. What is the size of this uh, city? Oh, it's population 1,000. So when it hits 1,000, it needs high-tech parts. Oof, that is uh, another nice challenge. 
But that's not the challenge we need right now. The challenge we need right now is uh, polluting the world. I love the fact that we are actively having to pollute, just wasting, uh, putting in, I mean, yes. Uh, it, it's, a, it's a nice change of pace from how we usually uh, go about things. And because we have so much of this, then it's just really nice to be able to just do this part, right? There, this part is now covered. And I will then build some of these. What if, what about if you have, let me think. I'm gonna just have, maybe, hmm. Let's build it like here. And this will be fluoride, uh, sulfur, and uh, we get that. Train here and here. I know it's kind of a short distance, but I'm just trying to illustrate a uh, maybe a point and then see how much we. Oh, that's too far away because this can't be reaching here. This will be the size we can build it. How much does it consume? 30 each. Yeah, that's definitely too much for what we have here, but um, kind of like, like the idea. This is silly, I know, I know. Um, so from here, set destination, that one. Sulfur, how many do we need? Uh, 120, I guess. And from here, set the destination here. That's fluoride, how many do we need? We need 120 again. There, 120, maybe even 180. Let's get 180 here as well. There. So 180 will only be enough to feed six of these on a continuous basis. But we can see that the temperature is already increasing because of all of the nasty, nice uh, sulfur hexafluoride. It is sulfur hexafluoride, right? It is now. Cool, that's a good step forward. Now the next step forward is in here, we need to get some more resources in and how do we do that well uh, i'm going to build it in a very specific way because i'm going to prepare it for trains later on Ooh, trains i know i know trains it's going to be exciting and i didn't do that so this one will be the depot we need for this part and yes i when i do this i kill some population Psh, too bad they can go somewhere else and um, but i also need to get this i think i'll just uh, get that here so this will be unloading to this location, which will drop off to that location, which will go in here with the... See, now it dropped below 1,000. Uh, so we need to keep going. I'll also need to scale this up as well. But we need to get our beautiful location here, this one. Uh, we'll make, need to make another one. Let's make it here and get that connected to this line. Hmm. I kind of like having it like this. Oh, there we go. And we now, uh, <laughs> look at that. Reach the population of one. We got the temperature increased. Look at that. It's uh, working on the temperature. Very nice. Reach the population of 1,000, your biggest city. And then we get, uh, we've now unlocked rails and trains. Ooh, that's exciting. Uh, do we want to get into rails and trains in this episode? Or should I leave that as a teaser for the next episode? Uh, I think we'll leave it as a teaser for the next episode. But we'll definitely need to get this set up to go all the way down here with a monstrous amount of high-tech parts. How many high-tech parts does it need now? Well, it uh, it only barely got there to this milestone. Uh, but it will get, uh, it'll get there when we get our concrete up and running. So now concrete, why are you not coming up? Uh, this one is going down here and this only has a supply of 63. I don't care, we'll just get all the way up to 100. That demand needs to be 74, so we need to just add more trains or trucks or something. And we can also just question if we are really getting this. There we go. If we link these together, then it will also start unloading this part all the way over here to keep these happy and flowing. Um, let's see. We can get another one. There we go. Now we get heat, metal waste, waste disposal and recycling cent recycle center. This is concrete and high-tech parts. This is waste disposal. We don't know anything that about this and that requires us to upgrade temperature even more. All right, so we need to make sure that this part here is making reinforced concrete. It needs uh, 30 concrete and I have five of these, but I do not have enough of this part. So that's uh, kind of just no, never gonna work. 
here, here, and... So with these Mark II miners or depots, it gets so much easier to just let things flow here. Uh, this is Depot Mark II, and this is a Depot Mark II. Funny how... Oh, concrete? Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, that's the that's the steel coming in. Ah, well, this one's not going to work because you will not get... You will not be able to get to this one. So you're, you're kind of wasted. But uh, this can reach all of these. This can reach all of these. Yeah. And we only have four here. I can just make another one here. So that's five, because we do need five. And then I am guaranteeing you that the steel bar is not sufficient. Also, the transfer rate is <laughs> not good enough. Yeah, steel bars, hard to really get all of this up to the level that we want. I think we want it up to 120. There. But are we producing at 120? No, we're not. Uh, we could be, though. There we go. That will produce at 120. Great. And then we just throw in the next one just because. So they, as long as they're close to this, it just makes so much nicer to make to do this, right? Um, the one thing we can kind of wonder about is whether one of these is enough. Uh, let's do that one here. There. And we can also just link these two together because why not? Uh, well, why not indeed? Yeah. So now that they are all linked together, more or less. Now they are linked together. So they, they it, it helps, it helps. Just getting them, them flowing and we should now be having one, two, three, four, five, six. That is 180 and supported here. That will get us to, let's see how this line, how much this line is. It's now transporting 120. And this will consume more than 120, but at least, hey, look at that. It's uh, something is going on here. The one concern is, of course, can they actually fly fast enough, these drones? You might need to have additional drones to uh, actually build this. And I guess we could build another one here because they will also be unloading from that one. And so that will be a little bit easier. And this one as well can just be out here. You know, it's not pretty right now for sure, but uh, it gets the job done uh, as, as it is right now. This one just empty. So we could actually do this there. That'll be a little bit easier. There. So it looks like we're now producing enough to keep it flowing. One, two, three, four. That's uh, 150. One, two, three, four, five. That's also 150. They can keep up. Uh, the trucking line is only 100. And I also know that this will only be getting to 100. It's now going down to 37. But 37 high, uh, high speed parts here is not enough. Oh, look at us. We don't have enough trucks. 37, right? Yeah. All right. We need more trucks for sure. So I think that the, the next thing is a logical thing that we want to build. And that logical thing we want to build is trains. Yes, definitely. So we need to uh, look at the trains, how they work. We need to make concrete and steel and concrete and steel. That'll get us trains. And we also, of course, need to make the train themselves. And they are made by, I think they're made by high, uh, high high-tech parts let's have a look here high-tech parts that is a train high-tech parts and mechanical parts so that actually is pretty easy to make because we already have it here um, don't we did we get it's the high-tech parts we oh shoot it's the other way around this we are bringing the high-tech parts down here together with that part so let's Build another location here. As soon as we build this location, we can actually get the trains. All right. I can at least say that we got the trains going. Uh, once we are coming back, we are going to be making some nice train lines everywhere. Like, literally everywhere. This will be replaced with a nice train input. That's going to be so nice. And I have some cool ideas about how to do this. And testing them a bit uh, on my own game. So, with that, thank you very much for watching. I hope you have enjoyed this little episode. And as we progress in this game, I really enjoy this game. I think that the simplicity means that you build really quickly. And then you can spend more time on sort of thinking about, like, good designs. Now, I'm not putting much effort into good designs because everything is very temporary. When you, oh, that, that rattling sound is just mind-numbing. Um, every... Uh, everything is temporary, like like all things. We'll also need to work on the other cities as well, but we'll uh, we'll get to that. So with that, thank you very much for watching. I will see you guys next time. Take care, and as always, stay effective.